some burger with extra cheese. Excuse me, what do you think you're doing? What does it look like I am doing? Making a living. This is my pitch. Only because you stole it from me. I did not steal it from you, Clifford. It's part of my divorce settlement. The court gave it to me for all those years of putting up with you. And what did I get for putting up with you? <coughs> not even a medal for bravery. I got nothing. Just move this thing, you hear me? Make me. I'm going to speak to my solicitor. I'm shaking in my shoes. Doreen, you've got a hole in your tights. <laughs> no, Mum's not back till next week. Yeah, but it's probably switched off. All right, I'm to Doreen. If she calls, of course I will. Yeah, what? Well, I've got to go now, OK? Yeah, you take care. Bye. Ugh, hey. She's giving me earache. Morning. How are you feeling? Great. Why shouldn't I be? No, I was just... Now, morning, you. If I hear you've been doing you or any grief, you'd be forward. Hey. Where's your lip ring on? Got caught in the towel when I was drying my face, so I took it out. Oh, you poor thing. Made you look like you had a really great cold song. <laughs> better without it, much better. Oh, morning. Here she is, my little charmer. Well, we're very glad to have her. Oh, well, I'd better be uh, getting back to the campus. Remember what I said. Behave. Bye, Mommy. <laughs> Shall we get started? OK, Cherry, I thought I would put Imogen with you for a few hours today. Is that OK? Cherry? Oh, no, it's fine. All right. If it's daydreaming. <laughs> Come on, then. Show you around. That's you hurrying. Patience is a virtue. Ah, 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 ah. Have I got a treat for you? A Kiwi Supreme or a Melon Mocha? That will make you want to smooch. <laughs> Let Mr. Smoothie give you your high five. Free drinks with every meal? I said it, free drinks with every meal. That's right, you come right over here. You need more than a smoothie to see you through the day. And that man never washes his hands. Is that your coursework? Some of it. Diagnosis and management of secondary hypertension. There's so much more we should know. The tutors were excellent. Did they touch on wave intensity? Wave intensity? Nah. I'd use gel if I were you. Lily, this is Imogen, Karen's daughter. Imi. She's going to be with us for some work experience. Pleased to meet you. And you know Simon, of course. Morning. Hey. You look very... very... Cheerful. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I must be the shirt. Kerry's got it for me. Do you like it? Does Kerry's like him? Shh. You don't think it's a bit too... No. It's very nice. Yeah. How are you? <laughs> Satisfied? I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't give me that. You've been complaining about me to the park authorities. It's your own fault. You have no right to be here. Are you leaving so soon? Your mouth could do it, arrest woman. And don't get too excited. I'll be back. You okay? Not really. I don't 
don't want anyone else to hear. Hear what? I feel like I'm telling tales. We haven't said anything yet. Simon, if you thought you saw someone do something, and that something would get them into trouble, would you say something? Hmm. Well, I suppose it would depend on what I saw. On the other hand, if you didn't see what you thought you saw and you said something... Jerry. I don't want to be disloyal. To who? Michelle. Why? What's she done? Well, she might not have done anything. Right. Let's start from the beginning. Tell me what you thought you saw. Yesterday, um, when I left the cinema tickets in the campus, yeah. I thought I saw Michelle drinking vodka straight from the bottle. It was in a handbag. Really? I don't know what to do. Almost if that's why she keeps on popping to the loo. Well, it is prevalent, you know. What is? Substance dependency among healthcare workers. We're talking about Michelle. Well, I know, that's what I'm saying. Those working in healthcare like Michelle. We're not, we're not talking about case studies. We're talking about a friend, a colleague. I wanted you to give me advice on what I should do and you just go spouting a load of gobbledygook that you've read somewhere. Oh, cherry. Maybe I... you should also read somewhere that friends should occasionally listen. Shall I come back later? No, no, it's, it's fine. Please, come in. I thought you might like to look through these. Your course notes. Well, don't you need them? They're copies. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, I wonder, there's a biomedical forum discussion next week at St Phil's in the lecture theatre. Would you like uh, to... When is it? Next Thursday evening. Mm, shame. I can't do Thursday. Sorry. Of course, sorry, I forgot. Heston did say... Heston said what? Nothing. Very kind. Thank you. It don't seem right, me showing you my belly. I'm a nurse and good clipper. I see people's bodies all the time. And what a fine figure of a man. Mm. That hernia scar looks a bit sore. It's early days. It was only two weeks ago I had the operation. Yeah. Even so, I'd like to give a prescription for some antibiotics. I wouldn't want to see it getting any worse. Whatever you think is best. OK. Well, I'll put a new dressing on. It's been ages since I've seen you. <laughs> I suppose your, your mother tell you about me and Doreen? Yeah. I couldn't believe it at first. I thought you two would be together forever. We were married for nearly 28 years. I wanted to grow old with her. She divorced you? Were you seeing someone else? No. Will you take me for a girl? I would only let your auntie disrespect my body. So why then? Because I wasn't good enough for her. No, I don't believe that for one second. She's taken me for everything. My home, my business, everything. Well, she must have had her reasons. That's it. You stick up for her. I'm not sticking up for anyone. I worship that woman. Now see where it's got me. OK, we have to make another appointment to get that dressing checked in a few days. Say hello to your mother for me. No doubt I'll be seeing you again. With this. <laughs> yeah. You take care. Bye. Oh. So, what happens when you get test results back? Uh, everything that comes in is scanned and placed on the patient's file. Does Mom have to do that? We both do. Wow, she's brighter than she looks. <laughs> How about you? You OK now? Sorry? With your problem, like, you look really normal. Imogen. Mail Health Centre, how can I help you? We don't talk about personal information on reception, OK? Oh, hi, Karen. Sorry, was I out of order? Ruth, I'm really sorry I wasn't being... No, not while she's on the phone. It's fine, no problem. Come on, let's find you something to do. Sorry about that. Yes, that was Imogen. <laughs> no, Karen, she's not getting people's bags up. She's absolutely fine. She's an intelligent girl. She's perfectly capable. Just need to keep her busy, that's all. Typical teenager. Probably be a bit of a handful, but I can deal with that. I admire you. Teenagers are a complete enigma to me. Well, we've all been there. Bet you were a goody two-shoes. 
You'd be surprised. How was the film last night? I didn't go. Oh, I thought you were going to go with... Michelle was busy. It was just me and Simon. It wasn't very good. We left halfway through. Everything OK with, um, you two? Yeah. Why? Yeah, we're fine, aren't we? Mm-hmm. I'm barley. I'm drinking way too much tea and coffee. Can I try some? Yeah. Help yourself. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Anyway, I best get something to eat. I'm starving. See ya. Come in. I'll be nice to check out when everyone's having their holidays. Okay. If you um, do you want to grab a seat? Okay. Um, Julie, keeping you busy? Yeah. I don't mind. It's what I'm here for. Sorry. Could you um, not do that? What? Have you worked out your date yet? Oh, 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 that's gonna stain. It's not like anyone would notice. Why don't you like it? It's like the blouse my granny wears when she goes to bingo. I'll leave you to it. Who wants all that greasy grub when you can have yourself a fresh, fruity smoothie? Hi, Michelle. Come here, darling. Hi, Auntie. I've had to put up with that all day. He's driving me mad. <laughs> anyway, here you go. And there is plenty more. Thanks. He's trying to put me out of business, you know. He thinks if I have no money, I'll go chasing after him. He has a long wait. Well, it's just healthy competition. He has to earn a living. I think he can earn it somewhere else, can't he? And anyway, we all know where his money goes. What do you mean? We well, don't know. <laughs> He likes to bet, does Clifford. Thing is, he doesn't know when to stop. What? He's a gambler? Mm -hmm. All he can think about is where the money is coming from for his next bet. Yeah, but he thinks about of you, though, aren't he? He told me. Did he know? Well, I wouldn't believe a word of it if I were you. I am Mr. Smooth, and have I got a treat for you? Hey there, people. Come on over here. I am Mr. Smooth, and I'm making it for you. It's my special recipe. It will give you energy. It is smooth. That's it. Oh, yeah. I am going to deal with him. Oh, no, Auntie, please.